So the next thing you want to do is go to our help center, which is support.th3dstudio.com, click downloads, and you're going to want to download our Unify 2 firmware for the printer that you're installing this kit on. In this video, we're using a Creality CR10 V2 with its stock control board. So I'm going to go ahead and click Creality and CR10 V2. Now on the firmware page here, we have directions on how to actually use the firmware and we're going to do a quick overview on how to set up the EZABL sensor in the firmware. If you want a more deep dive on setting up Visual Studio Code, which is what we use to compile it, you can visit vscode.th3dstudio.com. I already have VS Code installed and set up on this computer, so all I need to do is download the Unified 2 for my printer, and then we're going to go ahead and extract the zip file that downloaded to a location on my computer. So I've extracted the firmware from the zip file I downloaded and I've copied the path to my clipboard. I'm going to go ahead in Visual Studio Code and click Open Folder, paste that path in, and you want to see here the firmware folder. Double click that and then hit Select Folder. Once the firmware is loaded in Visual Studio Code, go ahead and click the Marlin folder and then double click configuration.h. You're going to look in the file for your printer. And in this case, here's my CR10v2 and we're going to uncomment the CR10v2 line. And if we scroll down here, you'll have a section called Easy AVL Probe Mounts. These are all pre-set up mounts that we've measured and configured in the firmware so you don't have to sit there and measure the distance from the nozzle to the sensor. I'm using our CR10V2 OEM mount, so I'm going to go ahead and uncomment this. Now remember, this video is a universal installation video that applies to any printer because the steps are the same. The only difference between this printer and whatever printer you're installing it on are the lines that you will be uncommenting in the firmware that you downloaded for your machine. If for some reason you have a custom setup where it's a mount that we did not provide, like a custom cooling duct or something you designed yourself, we do have this option here called the custom probe where you can uncomment this instead and then scroll down to the bottom of the file and you'll see right here you can enter in your custom probe settings. In the custom probe settings here you can enter the distance on X and Y that the probe is from the nozzle and there are notes here to help you determine if the offset is positive or negative, whether it's in front of, to the left, or right, or behind the nozzle. But in this case, we're using a pre-configured mount, so all I have to do is uncomment my printer name and the EZABL mount, and we can go ahead and click the little checkbox to make sure that it actually compiles. Now your computer is going to go ahead and download some files from GitHub to compile the firmware and then it will provide an output letting you know if it's successfully compiled or not. Once it's past the successful compile stage, you can go ahead and upload the firmware to your printer and depending on if you have an 8-bit printer or a 32-bit printer, the steps to get the firmware onto the board will vary. The 8-bit control boards use USB to upload the firmware to the printer, and the 32-bit ones will generate a file that you will place on an SD card, and then pop the SD card into the printer and turn it on to update the firmware. These directions are on the firmware page where we got the actual firmware from. So if we go back here to the firmware download page, you can see we have step-by-step -step directions on how to actually use the firmware and how to upload it. On the 8-bit printers, you might have to manually specify a COM port to upload to it. So I have my printer connected to my computer because this is an 8-bit board. So all I have to do now is hit the little upload button in the corner and it's going to recompile and then upload it to the printer. So we're going to go ahead and let this update and we're almost done with the installation. 